हेलो एवरी वन वंस अगेन वेलकम टू पी एम नेटवर्किंग गाइज दिस इज डे फिफ्टीन ऑफ टॉप वन हंड्रेड मोस्ट आस्क नेटवर्क इंजीनियर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सीरीज दिस इज डे फिफ्टीन टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस सेवेंटी मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर नेटवर्क इंजीनियर इंटरव्यू एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फाइव मोर इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन सो गाइज विदाउट वेस्टिंग आवर टाइम लेट्स बिगेन टूडेज क्वेश्चन आर बेस्ट ऑन एक्सेस कंट्रोल लिस्ट ए सी एल सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वट इज ए सी एल गाइज ए सी एल इज जस्ट अ सेट ऑफ रूल विच अलाउ और डिनाई ए स्पेसिफिक ट्रैफिक मूविंग थ्रू द राउटर और स्विच राइट सो यू कैन सी एक्सेस कंट्रोल लिस्ट इज सेट ऑफ रूल विच विल अलाउ और डिनाई ए स्पेसिफिक ट्रैफिक मूविंग थ्रू द राउटर और यू कैन सी स्विच एज वेल राइट नाउ ए सी एल इज यूज टू फिल्टर ट्रैफिक बेस्ट बेस्ट ऑन गिवन फिल्टरिंग क्राइटेरिया on a router or switch interface right whatever instruction you will write on the router right according to that instruction according to that criteria router will take filtering decision right so actually acl is a set of rule which is used to allow or deny a specific traffic suppose this is my network this switch 1 and here is router and here is other switch suppose here is one server this is my http server right and here is one user here are suppose here is 100 user right so out of 100 user what i want to get that this user will never access my http server this user shouldn't access my http server what i can do i can create acl on this router right and i can drop the traffic of this user whenever this user will try to access http server right so acl is set of rule which allow or deny the specific traffic moving through the router that's it right or you can see acl is used to filter traffic based on a given filtering criteria on the router or switch interface right after that it is a layer 3 security right it is a layer 3 security why we called it is a layer 3 security because acl works on the basis of ip address acl will filter traffic on the basis of layer 3 information that is ip address right so access control list always use ip address to filter traffic so that's why we call it is a layer 3 security that control the flow of traffic from one router to another right and it is also called packet filtering filtering firewall right sometime we will also call acl to packet filtering fi firewall fine let me move on next question this is very important question what is acl access control list many time interviewer is asking to network engineer right explain acl what is acl right and next question is question number 2 is what is different what are different types of acl what are different acl types right so guys there are two types of acl first of all first one is named acl and second one is numbered acl numbered acl and name acl so if i talk about acl so there are two type of acl numbered acl and named acl right and again numbered acl and named acl both acl are categorized in two part first one is standard acl and second one is extended acl okay in the same way name named acl is also categorized in two part first one is standard and second one is extended okay so you can say there are two types of acl first one is num numbered acl second one is named acl again numbered acl are categorized in two part standard acl and extended acl and named acl is again categorized in two part standard acl that means standard numbered acl or you can say standard named acl fine which is used to identify the acl right which type of acl you are using on a router so suppose if you i will configure acl 10 right this number is used to identify is this acl is a numbered acl or named acl right so this number will used to identify the instruction right the rule which you will configure on router fine so see whenever rule will configured on the router that rule will identify by name or 
number that will define define which acl we have created on router or switch so let me move on next question this is question number 72 so there are two types of acl right first one is numbered named numbered acl there are two types of numbered acl standard and extended there are two types of named acl right standard and extended okay now what is the difference between standard acl and extended acl guys this is very very important question many time interviewer is asking this question to network engineer explain the difference between standard and extended acl okay so first difference is range right right range of standard acl is 1 to 99 and range of extended acl is 100 to 199 okay first difference so if i will create one acl access control list 10 so which type of acl it is it is an standard acl and if i will create access list 101 101 which type of acl it is it is an extended acl fine we can block network host and subnet in standard acl you can block a complete network a particular host or a particular subnet right subnet means a small network okay now in extended acl we can block network as well as host as well as subnet and services very important point in extended acl you can block services as well but in standard acl you can't block service right so yes definitely extended acl is a basic filtering mechanism or you can say extended acl is a advanced filtering mechanism right Me technique advanced filtering technique so here you can block services and here you can block only network host and subnet understand with one example what i am trying to say this is my router suppose and here is one switch and this here is my http server http server and here is one pc okay suppose i want to block http service to the to the user right to this user right? this user should not access my http server but if i will apply a standard acl on this router right this machine will not ping as well this machine will not access ftp server this machine will not access dhcp server as well right so if you will block only http service by using standard acl this machine will never access other services as well right other services will automatically blocked right so not possible to block a single service in standard acl it's not possible right if you want to block a service a single service you need to configure extended acl okay now let me move on next difference so you can see if you will block one service in standard acl all services will be blocked so if you will blocked ip then all services will definitely blocked right but in extended acl right you, you can block selected service right selected service can be blocked and if i talk about standard acl so always keep in mind standard acl will implemented closest to the destination right and extend and extended acl will implemented closest to the source means this is r1 this is r2 and this is my server http server right and this is my client this is my source this is my destination if i will configure standard acl i will configure nearest to the destination router right so i will configure standard acl on this router this is just a recommendation guys right and if i will configure extended acl extended acl will be implemented closest to the source so i will configure on this router on r1 this is just a recommendation so the if you are implementing extended acl you should implement near near to the source if you are implementing standard acl you need to implement near to the destination okay now last point is filtering is done 
डन बेस्ट ऑन सोर्स आई पी एड्रेस ऑनली बेस्ट ऑन सोर्स आई पी सो इन स्टैंडर्ड ए सी एल दे विल नॉट चेक डेस्टिनेशन दे विल ओनली चेक सोर्स आई पी एड्रेस राइट एंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ सोर्स आई पी एड्रेस वॉटर बिल फिल्टर द ट्रैफिक बट इन एक्सटेंडेड ए सी एल फिल्टरिंग इज डन बेस्ट ऑन सोर्स आई पी एड्रेस डेस्टिनेशन आई पी एड्रेस प्रोटोकॉल एज वेल एज पोर्ट नंबर राइट सो यू हैव डॉट ऑफ ऑप्शन इन एक्सटेंडेड ए सी एल ओके नॉ लेट मी मूव ऑन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दिस इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन एक्सटेंडेड एंड एक्सटेंडेड ए सी एल एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी फोर इज इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज ए सी एल डायरेक्शन वॉट इज ए सी एल डायरेक्शन सो गाइज इट डिफाइन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ ट्रैफिक राइट डायरेक्शन ऑफ ट्रैफिक इन विच डायरेक्शन यू विल अप्लाई ए सी एल लाइक फॉर इनकमिंग ट्रैफिक और फॉर आउट गोइंग ट्रैफिक सो सपोज आई हैव नेटवर्क दिस इज माई आर वन दिस इज माई आर टू एंड हेयर इज वन स्विच हेयर इज वन स्विच दिस माई स्विच सपोज दिस इज माई स्विच This is f zero slash zero, f zero slash one, f zero slash one, and f zero slash zero. Here is one client. Here is one server. Suppose HTTP server. Okay. So guys, okay. I will create ACL on R one extended ACL, right? Suppose the IP address of this computer is ten dot one, and IP address of this server is twenty dot one, right? What I want. that tan dot 1 will never access http service right so definitely i will configure acl on r1 nearest to the source fine now after configuring after defining rule in acl you have to apply that rule on interface right on interface so if you will apply on this interface right direction will be in you can see your traffic will hit on this interface right so you are applying acl in incoming direction if you, you will apply the same acl on this interface right direction will be out because through this interface your traffic will be http traffic will be out right so in which direction do you want to apply acl for incoming traffic right traffic which is coming to an interface or traffic which is Out going from an interface, right? That is known as ACL direction. So, on which type of traffic do you want to apply ACL for incoming traffic or for out going traffic? That is known as ACL direction. Fine. Now, guys, let me move on. Last question of the day, question number seventy-five, and question is what is implicit deny? Oh, very important question, right? Implicit deny is an Default statement in ACL, guys. Every ACL has a default deny statement. That is, that is implicit deny, right? Default deny statement. You don't need to configure, right? If you will write command uh, access control list list one hundred and deny ten dot one, right? now automatically all traffic will be deny 10.2 will deny 10.3 will deny 10.4 will deny right so there is one default statement in acl that default statement is known as implicit deny if a packet does not match any condition it will destroy it will drop that traffic right so that's the reason why we need to run one more command permit ip any right so you have to permit other traffic other uh, traffic of other network traffic of other host right so this is just a default statement right that whenever you will configure acl and whenever you will give one statement automatically all other traffic will be deny right so that's all for today guys these are five most important question of acl many time interviewer is asking or interviewer can ask you how acl work as well they can ask you how standard acl work so how standard acl work standard acl filter traffic on the basis of source ip right so whenever router will receive any traffic they will check check their list acl list if in their acl list there will be entry 
right there will be entry for denied and definitely the sorter will deny that traffic so a standard acl is work on the basis of source ip and a standard acl will check source ip destination ip right uh, protocol port number right so these are the working you can explain this point in if interview will ask you how acl is work right how acl is working <sighs> fine so that's all for today we will meet soon in next video uh, then we will discuss five more important question till now bye bye guys stay safe if you like this video please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel pm networking thanks for watching bye bye